tiny, tiny hall. What is this? Oh, there's something secret in there. I don't know. Okay, so the first thing... Hello, So generally, I like to wait until I have a good day and I can make a bond and look beautiful for a haul, but... This is not going to happen, and I really am excited to show you guys this stuff, so I am going to be doing my Ulta haul today. So, in the comments down below, let me know definitely what you would be interested in if you could have one of these things. The first thing I got was um, just a regular Revlon eyelash curler. This is not going well. <laughs> Sam and Nick Chapman, or Pixie Woo. And they are just awesome and they designed this um, Real Techniques sponge for your base, like your foundation base. And, uh, saves a lot of your product and um, makes a lot thinner and you can build it a lot easier and it's really good. I got this Lorac highlighter and matte duo finish. So what's really cool about this is um, besides the fact that it's like a really intense amazing um, highlighter uh, I mean bronzer is that it has the highlighter as well so you can use this as your highlight or your contour and then it has this really 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 pretty um, just really natural highlight that you could use to highlight your face. So it's a pretty good contour kit, to be honest. But the thing I got for you guys is a Tarte um, Amazon and Clay Smart Mascara. There are really awesome things about their um, just product line in general, but also um, their mascara. But look at this freaking packaging! It's like literally bamboo. Um, the next thing I got was an, uh, a NYX Extreme Lip Color, and these are amazing. I know there's like a lot of hype about them. It's all worth it. Um, you should see my hand. I had like 50 million swatches on my hand when we were at Ulta. But um, I tried the NYX, uh, I got another one of them, this, the NYX uh, gloss, uh, Butter Gloss. And I absolutely love it. It's like probably my favorite lip product of all time, which is saying a freaking lot because I have drawers and drawers and drawers and drawers and drawers of lip products. Um, they're not sticky and they hydrate. So I really like this because it's like that coral color and sometimes I do my makeup kind of in a coral color and I think it looks really nice. I don't know. I've never really gotten coral colors. So, but that's like all the rage right now. So you guys know me. I'm just always on top of trends. Oh my gosh, my hair looks like it's not washed, but I swear it is. I just washed it last night. Okay, I just haven't brushed it. So I saw these ones that were extreme lip color, and I was like, what is that? And it is, it's not lipstick, but it is as tense as, intense as lipstick. And I, uh, I just did like a little tiny itty bitty spot. And it is just really beautiful. Like really, really beautiful. And I got it in a darker color. Yeah, it's not lipstick, nor is it a gloss. So it's kind of like in between. This is very shiny. Like this doesn't need a lip gloss over top of it. But um, this is more intense color. But the NYX ones, oh, they're so affordable too. So when I get in that aisle, I like have a stroke pretty much I have a stroke and like I had so many picked out and okay, so the next thing I got you is these EOS balls which are my absolute favorite um, I actually use these up usually I just lose them but I got you guys the new um, visibly soft lip balm sphere vanilla mint it's the ones with the I don't know everybody was freaking out that they were new but it's I don't think that there's anything really new about them other than they have lines around them. But you guys got, people got really excited about it. So I thought you guys would be excited about it. Vanilla Mint is probably my favorite lip balm flavor. Um, and then this is the one I've always used and it's like strawberry, I think. So I thought you guys would really like these. They're very popular and just really fun to put in your... Um, okay, so this one's like, I don't know. Okay, so I've always wanted 
wanted to try Real Techniques brushes. They're what I hear is comparable to MAC brushes, which like are my favorite. And I got this really awesome um, shading brush. For and what I really like about this is like I like to pack on color on like the V here, and I don't really have anything like that. Like most of mine are flat packing on color or more for blending. Um, but the only thing is, is there's this slash across here, and maybe you guys can tell me, but I don't think that that's part of the packaging, and I didn't realize that when I bought it, that it had this slash across it, so I don't know if that would bother you guys. The next thing I got is, um, this, uh, Dreams Wave Beach Spray, and, um, even in the straightest hair can achieve sexy, fresh from the beach, tousled waves all year round. Uh, personally, I got this because my friend Monica, she got it. I don't remember what she got it for, but, um, it smells delicious. I'm just gonna take a, mmm, it smells like coconut, it smells like, it smells like, um, what are those called? Pina colada. Like, it's very coconutty. And also, uh, kind of like a pineapple. So it's very, like, citrusy. I love stuff like this because my hair has natural wave in it. So I can just, like, throw junk in it. And then, like, people are like, oh, your hair looks so nice. And I'm like, thanks. I just threw crap in it last night and then slept on it. Um, but I personally just like the smell of it. Like, I'm very into perfuming the hair. Because when you hug someone, their hair is, like, really what you smell. But, uh, yeah, I just want you to, um, see the before and after. <laughs> Sorry, that makes me laugh. It's like a spray and then all of a sudden your hair is like, <sighs> not gonna happen. But it will give you a little messy curl. Okay, these next two things, um, I just thought were too cute not to get because... They're just awesome, like, starter kits, and this one is How to Make Your Face Wow. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see how sparkly it is. Let's see. Um, so they've got, there's, like, Sunday, and that's, like, a sparkly bronze. Then there's this really cool fuchsia uh, blush, and then there's a peach called Peach Babe and then Starlight and they have shimmer to them so this is more like a highlight and then you could use this as like a transitional color on your um, bronzer into your highlight or you could use it as a blush but I just loved all of those options and it's in this cute little adorable just box you could just chuck in your um, you know pussy thing and then there was another one, and I just had to get it. It's called How to Make Nude Eyes. Um, and this is just gorgeous. I might give this to my best friend, Lynn, because these are so her colors. They, I'm pretty sure they all have a bit of shimmer. Some have a little bit more sparkle. She loves shimmer, so... Um, it's not showing on camera very well, but these are really gorgeous, and that's like such a good highlight color, and um, just different browns, and these are, I don't know, these aren't showing on camera very well, but these are um, really rich. If I Maybe if I do give them the lens, I will do swatches of them, because they're really not showing up. They're really, really rich colors, and for the fall, They'd be absolutely perfect. What? Then, of course, I just got myself um, a sharpener because for some reason it's really hard to find sharpeners that have a big one and a little one. So I've had a white uh, NYX um, stick that I haven't been able to sharpen since I bought it. Um, so I got like one that has a big one and a little one. So I'm very excited about that. The other thing I got is... I got another one of Sephora's lip stains because they are freaking awesome. They're way cheaper than um, the CoverGirl Outlast or whatever they're called ones. And um, they work just as fine. And they have a really, really nice balm at the end. So I'll put this on for you. It is so simple. It has a lot more pigment than the Cover Outlast. 
Like the cover outlast, you really like kind of have to put it exactly where it's not very wet. And then go like that. Let it dry, which takes like a couple seconds, and then you're done. Then I really like this. This one kind of has like a little bit of color to it. It kind of mats it a little bit. Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. Done. And this will last me all day, and it's very natural, and I freaking love them. Obviously, this is not the one I would be giving you, but if you guys would be interested in this, I would love to go out and get them because um, I'm sure I could find another one that I want. Uh, I had like a raspberry color one that was like a little bit more bright, but I got something that was a little more folly. But they have lots of different colors, and um, I think that's it. Yeah, I just got, I usually, uh, if I get you guys, um, if, if you win the giveaway, I usually give you some more stuff, like masks and things. I can't just, I just can't help myself. I just cannot help myself. Uh, so anyways, uh, that is the haul. I just have to figure out when I want to do the next giveaway. Maybe you guys have an awesome idea. Um, I can guarantee if you come up with an awesome idea for a giveaway or for a reason to give a giveaway, um, I will definitely send you something um, even if you don't win the giveaway. Because I love you and I love your comments and I love your support and you guys mean so much to me. Leave a comment down below of what you liked in this haul and maybe a cool idea to uh, do a giveaway. So anyways, I love you guys and I'm sending out XO Blows. I hope you're pay for each rest free day and as always, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye! Because mine um, was starting to break my eyelashes out. So, that happens. So you can see what the um, scrub is doing to my hair. It's kind of making it look like I just got off the beach. Ah. It just makes me go into a little crumpy mode. I don't know what just happened there. I wish it wasn't orange though. I like when it's pink. It would be really awesome if I could figure out what flavor this is. I'm pretty sure it's strawberry. It literally does not say, okay, there's a giant thing that says strawberry shortbread sorbet right there just so y'all know i'm having an imaginary conversation with myself this is again fibro proof I, like people with fibro cannot get into this <laughs>